What's up guys? My name is Ben. Today I'm going to be replacing the processor on this Dell 1545, a classic laptop, um, with the highest processor um, it can possibly support, which is the um, Intel uh, T9900. Uh, so I don't know how you correctly pronounce that, 9,900 something, whatever, it doesn't matter, I'm putting it in this computer. So, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is show you the uh, Windows uh, score. So, we got a 3.4 uh, Windows Experience Index score here. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and uh, rerun this assessment. Now, the bottleneck of this is actually the graphics card. So this score might not improve because, uh, the overall score might not improve because it takes the lowest score. But if we look at the processor calculations per second, right now we're at 5.1, that's probably what's gonna increase. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, we have an SSD in this one as well, and you can see that the SSD uh, bumped its sub score up um, to 7.8 so it's gonna be pretty sweet if we can get the CPU score up as well so I'll come back check in with you guys once we get the official score welcome back so it's taken a while to compute the uh, Windows experience score so in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and open up this package I received in the mail <clears throat> this hopefully contains the processor <laughs> so we'll see how it goes um, so I ordered this on eBay, um, and I did uh, buy it used, so this could be kind of sketchy. Um, this is a pretty esoteric product, let's just say. It's hard to find. I guess it's not that hard to find, but you know, I like saying that because it just feels like it's more valuable. Okay, so I'm using the wrong side of the knife. So you don't want to do that. You want to use the sharp side of the knife. Anyway, so we're going to continue. Okay. So this guy did something crazy. So, I don't want to be too rough with it because it's a processor. What the f okay, not sure what happened there, but it, 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 whatever. <laughs> it happened. Okay, so there's the box. Um, here is, it looks like the eBay confirmation. Got some personal info on there. Yep, email confirmation used. Very good. T9900. Cool. Here it is, let's check it out. Woo! We got it in the Static Shield bag. There it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Um, just remove the tape. Which is a bit of a struggle sometimes. Okay. Okay, it looks like um, Whoever shipped this processor did a really good job of packaging it because they put it on some styrofoam because these mobile processors have pins that stick out of them. Anyways, if we can get it out of this bag, it'd be really sweet. <laughs> Bends his finger in the bag. Okay, we got it. All right, so just forgive me for that struggle. I know a lot of you at home were hating, um, but here we are. Holy shit. <laughs> Woo! Sorry about the audio. <laughs> Probably blew out a couple headphones there, but this is just beautiful. Oh my gosh, no bent pins from my initial impressions, which is lit. And uh, the top there is pretty clean. Um, you can see right here. We got the 9,900. Sick. So I'm pretty hyped about this because this is the um, maximum processor that this particular laptop can support. Uh, 
according to random forums on the internet, um, if anybody has anything higher than this, let me know because that's pretty lit. Um, so yeah, we stay out here. Um, I'll check in with you guys next uh, when the Windows uh, experience score has been calculated. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so the calculation's finished and uh, you can see our score is still at 3-4 uh, because it's bottlenecked by the GPU. But that's not the number we're focusing on today. We're focusing on this number, 5.1, um, which we're hopefully gonna improve. Um, we did so previously by updating the hard drive with an SSD. Um, we have that hard drive number. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the computer and then remove the uh, processor and then replace it. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, we are here about to disassemble this computer uh, and take the processor out. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got my trusty set of screwdrivers here. Put the processor to the side for a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna dive into this. Just taking these screws out. Now, if you have a Dell Inspiron 1545, then hopefully this video has made its way in front of you. Cool, so here we are. Here's the inside of the Dell Inspiron 1545, and right here is the processor under all this stuff. So that's what we're gonna replace. Here is the GPU, which we can't replace, and is also the bottleneck of the Windows Experience score. So, whatever, you can't hate, you gotta appreciate. So, what I'm gonna do now is remove the heat sink. Appreciators are gonna appreciate, you know, so shout out to my appreciators. Shout out to my haters, really. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, this whole thing is pretty loose. Um, I think this screw is still attached. Yep. Okay, so. Now at this point, all the screws are detached. Up here, we have this, like, heat sink that's just um, these like fins or fans or whatever you call them. These are just sitting there. They're not being held on by anything. So I'm just gonna pull it out. <clears throat> there we go. So this is the heat sink. Um, I'm not gonna put it down right away because on the bottom there is this thermal paste. And it's kind of interesting. If you look inside the computer here, there's the processor that we're gonna replace. Woo! So you can see that this had a T4200, and I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but it had a T4200, and now we're replacing it with a T9900, which is pretty cool. And then um, you can also see there's thermal paste right around the center here, and it's kind of interesting here, they use a thermal like tape. So I don't know why they did the different things, but I have some thermal paste and I'm gonna use that to install this new one. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so basically these are, this is really cool how these mobile uh, processors um, detach here, at least in this case. You basically just unscrew this and at this point I can just pull the CPU out. It's really easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna just use my hands. And there we go. So here you can see beautiful CPU that was pulled out. So probably gonna wanna save that because it's still very high quality, very nice piece of hardware. Just kind of comparing to the other one. Looks like it's okay. I'm really just trying to see if any of these pins are bent or anything like that. And it looks like they're not, so. 
Uh, now I'm just gonna place this one in here. Just kind of drop it in very lightly. And just, just so you know, this uh, little orange triangle should line up with this triangle up in the top corner, so. Boom. Just drops in like that. I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna just push it down a little bit, make sure it's actually in there very lightly. Cool, now so now I'm gonna use the locking mechanism that they have and just lock it up. And there we go. Now that should be locked into place. A, a visual inspection uh, reveals that it's uh, perfectly level, so that's great. So now I'm gonna go and put uh, some thermal paste on it and then put the heat sink back on. Cool. Um, so um, basically we have put our processor in and now we're gonna put some thermal paste on it and then put the heat sink back on and boot it up. So this is some really cheap thermal paste that I got from Micro Center. Um, shout out Micro Center. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on there. So yeah, this is a very heavily debated topic in the computer building world, uh, whether you should just put a big blob of thermal paste or whatever. So I'm just gonna put a blob, cause yellow. Um, that was not a good phrase. I'm gonna get so much shit for that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. That's a blob, bro. <laughs> yellow. That is the biggest blob. <laughs> cool, so you can never have too much thermal paste. Remember that, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on very delicately because I don't want the thermal paste to like crush the processor, so. Cool, so, like I said, this processor is used. So, I don't know if it's gonna work. Could also be some other thing that I did during this process that damaged it. But we're gonna go for it and we're gonna see if this actually works. So I'm just gonna send it and put the top back on. Welcome back guys. So we got the processor installed. Um, now we're gonna see if it actually works. So here we go. This is the first time I've tried to boot it. Well, it turned on. Ooh, starting windows. That is a good sign. <laughs> oh wow this is great it's good to see oh my gosh I think it worked <laughs> I think it actually worked so let's go ahead and check this out so uh, yep here we go we have the T 9900 wow installed good to go now what we're going to do is recompute the windows uh, experience index score and see what happens we'll check back in soon welcome back guys check it out our scores increased Woo! we went from a 5.1 to a 6.6 .6. Overall score is still a 3.4 because of the GPU bottleneck, but our processor score and our memory score, our memory operations per second and calculations per second both went up. Wow. Wow. Why do you think the, process, the RAM score went up when I didn't change the RAM? I don't know. But the processor score went up. That's lit. Mission accomplished. Goal achieved. Um, that is all. So if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, you already know the other thing. <laughs> so later y'all.